we're at Walmart picking up some stuff before we gotta go. Actually, Chris is inside and I'm just kind of chilling over here. Um, anyway, I don't know how many videos we'll have today. Uh, might be kind of short because Chris is with me and I don't like filming when he's around. <laughs> anyway, um, I do have a phone consultation with a doctor between 12 and 1.30. It's his lunch hour. He's going to call me. Um, they're located in San Diego. So um, then I'll be sending my insurance card along after that. Uh, and we'll be making an appointment. That'd be great. So anyway, um, thanks for listening and we'll talk to you soon. So yeah. Um, gotten three calls from creditors today. Each of them said they hadn't got a payment and each of them I went and checked and got a warning saying you're about to double pay. So I don't know what's going on. Um, the bank said that they've already paid them the amount th that they're getting for the month. So I'm going to hold off a couple of days and see what happens. So if you don't hear from me for a while, that would be why. Sorry for, sorry for the interruption. Anyway, um, did hear from a couple people this morning, emailing back and forth information. Uh, I'll update more on that later. Uh, toodaloo. So now I'm at the casino, uh, waiting to pick up the lunches for everybody. I am having a hot dog and a couple of tater tots. Probably just a couple because you know how those go. Uh, they're not very edible for the gastric bypass. Anyway, uh, waiting on that and my kids' food and my fiance's food. And um, still not quite time for the doctor, but we're getting close. It is 11 o'clock. Uh, thought I'd come on and talk a little bit about um, some of the stuff day to day. I just feel like I'm in a state of, like, stuck. I can't buy anything larger because I might not be getting larger and yet I can't buy it smaller because I might not be getting smaller. So like I don't want to buy anything. I don't really enjoy shopping. Like it's usually like my therapy. I love to shop but I haven't been shopping much lately. Just mostly trying to get ready for this trip to Vegas. Um, we leave early, uh, I believe it's Sunday morning. I think. <laughs> I do have to check because somebody said maybe it was Monday the other day and I was like, maybe you're right, but I think it's Sunday. Um, getting all my dates confused. Uh, matter of fact, I think I'll check that right now. Okay, so um, I got on my phone call. The doctor called right on time. Um, said he'd like me to fly south um, towards L.A., come see him um, set up an appointment for the end of the month and that's what I'm gonna do um, just having them run my insurance right now to double check and make sure they take that um, and as soon as we get through that part uh, I'm gonna go buy my flights um, a couple hundred bucks I'm going by myself uh, gonna do it on a Friday which is good because Chris can stay home with um, one of my boys that's gonna be here um, so yeah, I just wanted to update you guys, um, standing outside at my house, my beautiful property, um, and I think that's pretty much it for today. If you have any questions or comments, uh, anything I should add, um, oh, I do want to go into I almost forgot this part, this is important. Um, so the questions I asked the doctor, I asked him, does he revise an open Roux Y surgery? Does he pull out the old stomach? Does he change the connections at the bottom with the intestine? I can't remember what they call that. And does he redo the pouch size? So I need all of that redone. Um, probably. Um, and he said that he wanted me to come in, um, he was going to do some gastric testing and make sure that I was not twisted inside or had any problems that would prevent the surgery. He said um, he wanted to make sure that it was necessary for me to re reduce the size of my pouch 
and everything like that. So um, the next step is just like I said, waiting on the insurance information to make sure they take my insurance and then to make the flights um, down there for the first appointment. Um, I'm super excited. Um, so I guess that just leaves more waiting. Uh, I double checked. Um, like I said, I was going to run and check real quick. Flights are on Monday morning. It's a good thing I checked. It's a good thing somebody asked me because I was sitting here thinking the whole time that it was going to be on Sunday. Um, it would have looked pretty silly at 6 a.m. on Sunday morning sitting out in the parking lot waiting for the bus that was never going to come. So I'm glad I found out it's actually Monday morning, 6 a.m. We'll be getting on uh, the casino buses going to the airport. Our flights leave about 9.30. I'll probably check in. Um, you know, I'll probably load, upload at the end of the day, but I'll probably um, do little videos throughout the day at the airport. Um, as I arrive in Vegas... Because um, we're going to get there and the hotel room probably won't be ready for us because we're going to get there like 11.15 in the morning and check-in time is at 3. So, yeah, anyway, um, not sure when the next time you'll see me is, but for now, <laughs> hasta luego. Okay, so hi, uh, got a call back from the doctor's office regarding my insurance. She had a few facts and figures for me, I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, I have a $3,300 and some odd change um, <clears throat> deductible, but should my 10% be more than that deductible, it would be covered 100%, that's the way I understand it. Um, I get the deductible and then um, I also pay 10%, so the deductible comes out of the 10%, I guess, is what you would say. <clears throat> anyway, I have to have a year's worth of medical records sent from my doctor, which is not a problem. Um, I'm quite sure she'll do that. Um, I have to go down to L.A. once a month for four months to meet with the doctor and the nutritionist and everybody that I need to meet with down there. Um, so... That's four months worth of flights to L.A. at a couple hundred bucks a pop. Um, they're going to be long days and they're only a couple hundred bucks a pop because I won't be spending the night. I will be flying down in the morning and flying back in the evening on a red eye. Um, but I can do it. I also wonder what is involved with the nutritionist. Um, is she going to put me on some weird diet? Um... I don't know because obviously it's hard for me to stay on a diet or I would not be having this weight issue to start with. Um, I also have to have a psych exam, which is a form, I guess, that my psychiatrist that I already have uh, fills out. Um, so that shouldn't be too hard. I imagine that'll be pretty easy. I have to get an abdominal endoscopy, which is like a scope that they put down your throat. Um, so I'll have to get that done down there so that'll be an additional flight um, unless they can do it in one stay over in which case um, I might have a hotel fee um, I also need to get medical clearance from my doctor and that includes a form where she's going to have to have me have a chest x-ray an EKG and some blood work but that'll be done closer to the end of the four months it all has to be done within the calendar year, so I have to get it done by December. Um, right now we're looking at surgery in November. So hopefully um, just after or near Thanksgiving, um, which would be the same time of year about that I had the first surgery. Um, it was December 14th, which is a big day for me. It's also the day quite a few years later that I met my fiance and well not the day that I met him the day that um, we started going out um, in 2006 so 
Um, February, I mean, um, December, sorry, February is my birthday. December uh, 14th is a pretty big day. So I'm setting my goals on getting it done by then at least. Anyway, um, they're in network. Insurance is covering it. I just have to fit all the medical stuff I need to do, which I'm sure I can get it done. Um, it was nothing like this the first time. I didn't have any hoops. I went to a seminar. At the end of the seminar, we all filled out our paperwork in a big group around a big table. Then um, we were taken back to speak to the doctor. The doctor filled out every form, piece of paperwork the insurance needed. He said I was good and I was in surgery within seven weeks. Um, so for that, it was more um, scheduling busy schedules than preliminary testing, which it is now. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, hopefully other people out there aren't having quite as hard a time as I've been having getting it done. Um, if you have any questions, comments, um, anything I can do better, please let me know. Um, like I said, it's always a work in progress. As you can tell, I'm getting a little better at some of the video insert stuff. Um, but each day I try a different program because a lot of them are freezing up on my phone or they're just not very easy to work with or they're just not good. Um, can't put music, other stuff like that, or at least I can't figure out how. I'm not super tech savvy, so <laughs> wish me luck. Thank you so much for listening. I think this is maybe it for today. Uh, maybe a little bonus footage at the end. Um, but for now, that's it. That's my little kitty cat approaching in the weeds there. <laughs> Blessed be. Okay, so hi. Uh, got a call back from the doctor's office regarding my insurance. She had a few facts and figures for me. I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, I have a $3,300 and some odd change um, <clears throat> deductible. But should my 10% be more than that deductible, it would be covered 100%. And that's the way I understand it. Um, I get the deductible, and then um, I also pay 10%. So the deductible comes out of the 10%, I guess, is what you would say. <coughs> anyway, I have to have a year's worth of medical records sent from my doctor, which is not a problem. Um, I'm quite sure she'll do that. Um, I have to go down to LA once a month for four months to meet with the doctor and the nutritionist and everybody that I need to meet with down there. Um, so that's four months worth of flights to LA at a couple hundred bucks a pop. Um, they're going to be long days and they're only a couple hundred bucks a pop because I won't be spending the night. I will be flying down in the morning and flying back in the evening on a red eye. Um, but I can do it. I also wonder what is involved with the nutritionist. Um, is she going to put me on some weird diet? Um, I don't know because obviously it's hard for me to stay on a diet or I would not be having this weight issue to start with. Um, I also have to have a psych exam, which is a form, I guess, that my psychiatrist that I already have uh, fills out. Um, so that shouldn't be too hard. I imagine that'll be pretty easy. I have to get an abdominal endoscopy, which is like a scope that they put down your throat. Um, so I'll have to get that done down there, so that'll be an additional flight. Um, unless they can do it in one stay over, in which case um, I might have a hotel fee. Um, I also need to get medical clearance from my doctor, and that includes a form where she's going to have to have me have a chest x-ray, an EKG, and some blood work, but that'll be done closer to the end of the four months. It all has to be done within the calendar year, so I have to get it done by December. Uh, right now we're looking at surgery in November. So hopefully um, just after or near Thanksgiving. Um, which would be the same time of year about that I had the first surgery. Um, it was December 14th, which is a big day for me. It's also the day 
quite a few years later that I met my fiance and well not the day that I met him the day that um, we started going out um, in 2006 so um, February, I mean um, December sorry February is my birthday December uh, 14th is a pretty big day so I'm setting my goals on getting it done by then at least anyway um Their in-network insurance is covering it. I just have to fit all the medical stuff I need to do, which I'm sure I can get it done. Um, it was nothing like this the first time. I didn't have any hoops. I went to a seminar. At the end of the seminar, we all filled out our paperwork in a big group around a big table. Then um, we were taken back to speak to the doctor. The doctor filled out every form, piece of paperwork the insurance needed. He said I was good, and I was in surgery within seven weeks um, so for that it was more um, scheduling busy schedules than preliminary testing which it is now so this is what I'm gonna do um, hopefully other people out there aren't having quite as hard a time as I've been having getting it done um, if you have any questions, comments, um, anything I can do better, please let me know. Um, like I said, it's always a work in progress. As you can tell, I'm getting a little better at some of the video insert stuff. Um, but each day I try a different program because a lot of them are freezing up on my phone or they're just not very easy to work with or they're just not good. Um, can't put music, other stuff like that, or at least I can't figure out how. I'm not super tech savvy, so... <laughs> wish me luck thank you so much for listening I think this is maybe it for today uh, maybe a little bonus footage at the end um, but for now that's it that's my little kitty cat approaching in the weeds there <laughs> blessed be